started feel like shit, hand to the words. I wouldn't even make a dial if you put me on the climb. Let me be there for a while. When I look into your eyes, I don't see the same smile. Probably blame me for the drugs I was on before you found me. Hey yo, what's good? It's your boy Matt B. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for checking out another video. Here to drop a new package off on you. Yeah, yeah, I hope y'all like that. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Tell me what you think about the video down below. Please comment down below and tell me what you think about the video. Please share this video to any of your platforms and only take a second to get your boy voice heard. And if you disagree with what I say by the end of the channel, feel free to hit that dislike button. Don't matter to me. But please comment down below and tell me why you disagree with what I have to say in this video. So before anybody new come to the channel and anybody comment on my video and want to say, well, you were you don't do nothing play video games and and whatever, whatever, or this is what your page is about and everything else. I done already heard this before. But at the end of the day, I just want people to know that's not, you know what I'm saying, that um, subscribers to my channel, if you don't know already, I am a black male. I am over the age of 30. So I've been here well long enough to speak on some of the things that I speak about. So today I wanted to come in and talk about these black women, um, these black YouTube women content creators who um, in the past week have, I guess, you know, found every opportunity they could to you know downplay the black man talk about the black man and blame the black man for everything that's going on and so i'm sorry if i have the name drop in this video but i'm pretty sure some of y'all a lot of y'all are aware of who i'm talking about um you know what i'm saying we're, we're basically talking about the 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 um the cynthia g's and the the i don't know if paris really said anything but um you know the Chrissy's, the Yannies, any of these black bras names, man. I'm sorry, that's what I gotta call y'all, man. So my the question of this video today, if you you know what I'm saying, check out the title. Um, are black men to blame for swirlers in the community? And I see that, you know what I'm saying, that it's it's real funny that these women keep putting themselves in a lot of different type of situations and then they wanna um at the at the end of the day play victim and you know what i'm saying you know try to point fingers or point blame towards the black man when at the end of the day we have nothing to do with this situation and at the end of the day this is not our fight and so i wanted to preach on this video man when are the women are going to start holding themselves accountable for the men that they choose to date choose to deal with choose to sleep with because as far as i know anybody who chose to deal with me it was a choice so I didn't force anybody to be in a relationship with me. And I'm sure that this guy right here didn't force this woman to be in a relationship with her. So that's one thing that I want to talk about. Basically, um, I find it real funny that, like I said, anything that goes wrong with the black woman, it is the black man's fault. And we are to protect these women, even when they step outside of the, the community. And at the end of the day, I don't have anything against women who decide that they want to step outside of the community the black women that want to step outside their communities it is what it is you know what i'm saying and a lot of men prefer that they stay that way you know what i'm saying so it's not a problem because like i said i have white friends that do deal with black women so this is not nothing towards them you know what i'm saying i i wish happiness for everyone that's how i am at the end of the day it don't matter what you know what i'm saying what race you are as long as you're happy with who you're with you know what i'm saying just leave it at that but a story came out a couple months ago um, about this. I don't know. She was high yellow or maybe biracial, maybe. But she had went out on a date with a guy. And so the news uh, to me, um, when they told the whole thing, the whole story about, um, you know, the news wasn't putting out what the man looked like and, you know, um, anything about because he, you know, the woman went out on a date with him she ordered a little bit too much stuff and so um when they proceeded to get in the car the man i guess strangulated and beat her real bad or whatnot where she had to jump out of the car running i guess so 
she didn't want to tell then that she was on a date with a white guy because it all panned out after the fact. And I just knew that. I said, man, if, if that guy was black that did that to that woman, man, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that this would have been all over the news. So why are people this is what's killing me because people are mad at like I said, people are mad at black men for this, but at the end of the day, we know if a black man would have done this to this woman as well. It would have been all over the news. You know what I'm saying? It would have been all over the news. Especially if he's a football player, high caliber person like himself. Trust me, it would have been all over the news. We've seen this before in the past. So this is like it's not anything new where these um, these athletes are abusing their women. We've seen this before. But I just wanted to say, man, this, like I said, these are to a lot of the, like I said, to pretty much all of these 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 black men hating women content creators that um i guess choose to spend every moment or chance that they can get to name drop or say anything bad about the black man at the end of the day man women y'all need to start holding yourself accountable for the actions that y'all choose to you know what i'm saying the choices that y'all choose to make Stop blaming black men for every one of y'all issues. Honestly. Everything is not the black man's fault. I find it funny because I'm I've just subscribed to this this um this this YouTuber. His name is Red Supreme. And um he said on and he said in his video, and I agree with him 100 percent that it's funny that a lot of women sit up and talk bad about black men, but still at the end of the day, they want us to protect them. And it's funny that, you know, black men don't need black women to protect them, but black women always need black men to protect them. So it don't matter if y'all following this feminist agenda or whatnot. At the end of the day, y'all still need a black man for protection. So I've seen videos about women talking about y'all need to get yourself armed and y'all need to do this, that, and the third. But at the end of the day, um... That's, you know, that's not going to really get y'all anywhere. So all this self-hating stuff, like I said, man, so when we talk about these, we when we bring up a lot of these white men who are out here, um, you know, beating the brakes off y'all sisters and we speak on these specific topics, y'all call it hating or anything else that y'all can possibly call it. So at the end of the day, we damned if we do, we damned if we don't. And I also want to add to about these specific celebrities like Des Bryant or you know um I'm glad Des Bryant having trouble getting into the NFL man because at the end of the day Brayton why are you not with her if you feel so if you so mad and and everything else why are you not with her so I like I, I just like I said I just look at a lot of this for um opportunity for many different people to gain clout on you know what i'm saying many different situations and then on this one this ain't nothing but a lot of fuel for these black women content creators to just spew anything about black men and they followings are so strong man that's why i'm hoping that one day i can be up in 100k followers like a lot of these these black women subscribers and even the one that's in a thousand they still have a lot of women wrapped up in this whole mindset of just bashing black men every chance that they get so if we were put in a category as a whole then at the end of the day a lot of y'all women shouldn't be protected at the end of the day so we can talk about what men do all day and we can talk about many things of what black women do a day but at the end of the day it shouldn't be the black man's it shouldn't be the black man's problem or fault if a sister decides to step outside of her community and she's harmed by whatever a bottom shelf bread but i may be wrong i'm just a youtuber i'm just somebody who just smoke weed and play video games tell me what you think down below i love y'all thank y'all for checking out the video peace
Start to feel like shit, hand to the worst. I wouldn't even make a dial if you put me on the climb. Let me be there for a while. When I look into your eyes, I don't see the same smile. Probably blame me for the drugs. I was on them for you, found me. Huh? Seem like everybody judged me, so I ain't worried.